Hi. So uh, in last week when I uploaded video on uh, you know uh, the investment banking capital market segment, so I received questions uh, on you know uh, what is the difference between custodian and share registrar. So through one example, I I I would like to explain the difference between custodian and share registrar. So I would say just you know stay here and see what is the difference between custodian and share registrar. So see, let's say GMT Academy want to uh, raise share capital. Okay, GMT Academy want to raise the share capital through listing of securities. So uh, GMT Academy will split the company's assets. Split the assets into small. denomination and units so it's a very important one right so gmt academy will split the assets into small denomination or units so that each denomination we call it as share certificate so which represent that share certificate represent the value right value so how that share certificate looks like if you have a doubt it seems like similar a hundred rupees note 200 rupees note 300 rupees note 500 rupees note right so here so similar certificate which you would see right same same note which you would see as a share certificate right GMT shares. Let's say this. So this certificate, this certificate, you need to list to the NSDL and CDSL stock exchange, right? List this particular stock. NSE and BSE. So when you list the stock, what happened? When you list the stock on NSE and BSE, let's say GMT decided to create 10,000 securities and that 10,000 securities GMT listed on NSE, NSE means National Stock Exchange and also listed BSE, let's say 5000 securities listed on NSE and remaining 5000 listed on BSE, Bombay Stock Exchange. Understand the listing process first. When you want to list the securities or uh, when you want to announce the securities, there would be two forms, right? One, Physical certificates and another one is kind of a note which is notes that you know 1000 rupees notes or 2000 rupees notes 10,000 rupees notes right the similar kind of notes digital share certificate. Digital share certificate, right? Let's say, let's say in this example, GMT decided to opt for a digital certificate. So it means 5,000 5, shares, physical shares, and this 5,000 uh, 5, 5, physical shares, GMT Academy will deposit, deposit, deposit with this 5000 will be deposit with NSDL so who is this NSDL 
National Securities Depository Limited who work for NSE and CDSL Security Depository Central Depository Security Limited CDSL who work for Bombay Stock Exchange so it means GMT Academy will deposit 5000 shares with NSDL and 5000 shares with CDSL and when when the GMT deposit 10,000 securities with both the depositories depositories will convert depositories will convert physical shares into electronic format or I would say digital format right so when they convert into digital format so GMT institution required what demand account so why this demand account will come into picture might be would have question yes if you know the bank structure let's say we are talking about now normal bank to understand how this depository works we are talking about normal bank so we are talking about bank let's say you are here you have you have uh, 5000 rupees note right physical note that you want to transfer to the or that you want to send it to the your parents let's say here so how will you transfer this right how will you transfer so there are two ways directly you can hand over this note to your parents but let's say you are in Pune and your parents at your hometown let's say uh, Nandir So how will you send that? Put a logic, right? So you will have to actually go to the Nanded and then you can hand over 5000 rupees note to them. But what if, what if your parents has bank account? And similar way, you have also bank account. If you have a bank account, if you have a bank account, you can deposit your money, right? You can deposit your money in your account or else directly you can deposit, directly deposit. money in recipient's account right so you will have two options correct one directly you can deposit money in a recipient's account and another one is you can directly deposit that money in your bank account and once you received that then you can transfer it to the that recipient's account so there are two ways the similar logic when you put in a share market when you purchase any securities or when any company issued securities right then you need to have a demat account which can help you to transfer the shares transfer the shares from one account to another account with like you know uh, uh, with, with a very transparently or very quickly and that's what your depositories come into picture. Depositories plays a role like a bank 
in a normal financial system we know the functions of bank where when we deposit the cash then banks will help you to transfer the cash from one account to another account so in a security market in a security market central depositories like nsdl and cdsl central depositories right where they accept the deposit of shares and they convert that physical securities into digital and then after the institutions or individual investors they are allowed to accept that securities digital securities in your demat account and once you have a securities in your demat account you can transfer that securities to anyone and that's what your depositories come into picture where they play very very vital role in this segment right where they played very very vital role in this segment where you can means once you have a securities in your demat account you can transfer that securities to anyone but the important important here is about share register if you put a logic so now gmt has 10000 outstanding shares right gmt issued 10000 outstanding securities so when you have outstanding securities so gmt required institution who can maintain the outstanding shareholders details outstanding shareholders details so gmt academy's outstanding shares understand this logic gmt academy's outstanding securities or shareholders details will be maintained by share register so in short share register are who carry all the shareholders information outstanding shareholders information or authorized capital information right and that's what if you observe when the company announced corporate action on outstanding securities again so that information shareholders information register are provide to the custodian and custodian again process that corporate action custodian corporate actions here you can put a logic right so in short if you differentiate share register are carry the outstanding shares information about that particular company right and provide that information to the financial institutions who are part of this investment ecosystem or investment industry so every company it's mandated to appoint one registrar who can carry all the shares information outstanding shares information and provide it to the shareholders investors uh, any brokers custodians or to anyone as and when required right so shareholder uh, that register are it's not a new concept try to understand it so every company appoint register are gmt academy also appointed register like abc private limited who offer compliance reporting accounting and all the you know the information if you want so you can reach out to the abc private limited company so they carry information about the gmt academy right the similar way in indian market you would have heard name like linkedin time linkedin time private limited so they offer you know register our service to the most of the institution in india right so if you want to list your securities then reach out to the linkedin time so they will guide you how you can list your securities so they will carry all your information about outstanding securities bonds or any other financial instruments so those can be converted into digital or if you want to appoint as a share registrar you can appoint them right so that's the difference 
and in a corporate action or any information if you want about shares so you can reach out to the registrar of that particular issuer so who appoint registrar you may expect question so of course the gmt academy so it means issuer will appoint issuer will appoint registrar right so that's how you can link the registrar so now we'll try to understand about custodian see custodian custodian is the member of custodian is a member of nsdl and cdsl right custodian is a member of nsdl and cdsl where custodian offers safe keep service and settlement service or i would say i would say transaction service apart from that custodian also offer this custodian also offer service reconciliation and at currently or at this point in time i would say i have also seen custodian offers corporate action processing service as well they also work as a tax agent tax agent is nothing but they collect the taxes on behalf of government to the collect the taxes so the to collect to collect the taxes on behalf of the government so these are the prime services which comes under the custodian and apart from this custodian also help you when we say settlement it means to exchange the ownership ownership of securities so these are the services which comes under the custodian but most of the people they know only the safe keep see try to understand even if you are not able to understand safe keep exactly what it means let's say you have a precious goods like uh, you know stones or metals or any kind of you know the dollars that you have but you want someone who can provide safety and security to your uh, precious goods or cash payment or any gold or if you have right so generally what you do you go to the bank and you purchase locker right for one year two year and you deposit your precious goods or metals whatever that you have in the locker correct and it's a bank's responsibility to provide safety and security to your goods so similar way in a security market if you have different securities then you can appoint custodian who can offer safety and security to your uh, investment whatever investment that you have the similar functions which you would see nsdl and cdsl also offer but but so it's a very important as if you are investment manager fund manager institution or any wealthy investors or foreign institutional investors or family houses if you if you are like the part of this then it's a mandate it's a mandate to appoint custodian 
custodian why because if you, see if you, if you are an institution if you are an institution so it means you have a money so you have raised money from public and when you invest into when you invest into instruments like equity bonds t bills or any other instrument so when you invest into such instruments then it's a mandate to transfer that in that instrument in the books of custodian right in the books of custodian why because you have raised money from public so it means as a fund manager whatever assets that you are holding that asset is belong to the public so you cannot keep that assets anywhere or in a personal books of account and as well as there there should someone as a institution who can provide who can provide safety and security to the investment which you have in a books of account and apart from that if you want if you want to invest as a as an institutional investor if you want to invest in ipo or if you want to exchange the securities or if you want like any kind of reconciliation or portfolio accounting service corporate action settlement portfolio accounting or exchange or any any kind of service then it's a mandate to appoint custodian so you can hire custodian to manage your business operations as simple as that and custodian again custodian you can call it as share bank if you want and you can also when you say share bank so it means you know the bank role right so where when you when you have a cash you can deposit with bank and then you can transfer to anyone so similar way if you have a cash then purchase the in instrument and send it to the custodian so custodian will protect right custodian will pro provide safety and security to investment and apart from that if you want to transfer that security to anyone then custodian will help you to transfer that security from one institutions uh, one institutions to other right so that's the difference of custodian and share registrar as well as we have discussed about depositories as well so nsdl and uh, uh, cdsl central securities depository limited so they offer the uh, again same similar services you would see uh, they also nsdl and cdsl also offer it but uh, custodian is the immediate member of or cdsl or participant of cdsl and nsdl so they also offer same sort of services uh, to the investors and institutions and if you ask me key difference between depositories and depositories and uh, custodial operations custodial uh, or custody uh, that offers trade trade processing trade processing asset servicing reporting accounting and reconciliation services to the uh, institutions as well as custodian also offers the uh, legal procedures or uh, compliance i would say compliance solution to the businesses as well as the any any kind of risk management and control service if you are looking for custodian offers and depository they also offer same sort of services safe keep asset and cash monitoring ownership verification for per assets and accept the deposit of securities in a physical form to convert into digital so all that services will be offered by depositories and custodians still if you have any questions you can of course reach out to us if you are looking for any course then you can call us 
एट सेवन थ्री एट सेवन सिक्स जीरो नाइन टू थ्री जीरो एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो विजिट टू दी डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट आई बी फंड अकाउंटिंग डॉट कॉम टू रीड मोर अबाउट दी यू नो कॉन्टेंट ऑन इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंकिंग एंड ऑल एंड इफ यू लाइक दिस इनिशिएटिव I would say click on you know like button and share with others or students or working professionals who are desperately looking uh, for this content. It's a very important and insightful one, so which you should know as an investment banker or fund accountant because most of the investment bankers or capital market jobs they deal with the custodians, prime brokers, right? So that's what it's it's a very important function. And even though they work with the NSDL and CDSLs as well, anyways. If you have any topic or content uh, and that you're looking for a video, then I would say post in comment. Definitely, I'll uh, uh, develop video on it, so which will help you to you know understand in a better way. So we'll see you next session. Thank you. Bye.